Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, thanks for tuning in. Um, I got asked to provide the stems for one of our tracks off our latest EP, Timed Out, uh, available on Bandcamp. I'll leave a description below to buy, download, or you can listen to the album on any streaming platform. Interestingly, the track that is picked is the one that I was least happy with when I did the original mix down. Uh, but that's not the reason he wants it. He wants to look at bringing the guitars further forward in the mix to see what that sounds like. Problem is, I didn't print the stems at the same time as I did the mix down. I didn't anticipate anybody would want to do a remix of one of our tracks. So this is a short video on how I prepare the stems, print them and get them ready to send out. However, if you've watched uh, the previous two videos, you'll know that we've just upgraded our system and we're now recording at 48 kilohertz as opposed to 44.1, which was what the EP was recorded at. As an aside, I'll hopefully be able to give you an update in a couple of weeks on the Intel chip fiasco. So I'm gonna to have to go and reset the system to 44.1. So I'll go and do that off camera and I'll come back to you and we'll have a look at the mix flow and what we're gonna to need to do to prepare these stems. Okay, so let me just quickly go through what my mix flow is. There is a previous video that we've done on our mix template. In fact, it's our most successful video on this channel. Uh, so please go check that out. I'll leave a link in the description below. So how our mix flow works is I have individual groupings of instruments. So for example, here we've got four synth pads. They're routed into an auxiliary track, which is then routed to a stem track. The strings are routed to an auxiliary track and then onto a stem track, which are these yellow tracks here. Here you can see that we have the pianos routed to an auxiliary track. And here we've got the acoustic guitars, including a delay and a reverb routed into this auxiliary track and then routed to an acoustic guitar stem track. However, you might notice that on some of these auxiliary tracks, we're routing some of the signal to a short verb, a medium verb and a long verb. And I'll come on to that in a short while. Moving on, we've got electric guitars, drums, they're all routed to an aux track. And as I say, all those are routed to these stem tracks. So we've got synth pad, strings, sax, piano, acoustic guitars, electric guitars, and bass. And as you'll notice, all those at the moment are routed into this all music track. Then you've got the drums and the vocals. Also rooted into this all music track are these three verbs, the short verb, the medium verb, and the long verb. The difference between the reverbs on the acoustic guitars is that they are used for a specific effect, whereas these three verbs are used to create an overall sound tool. Now, um, you might want to go and watch uh, another video that we've done on how we set up this reverb format and nothing's new or invented this was shown to me by a good mate of mine liam sullivan who actually mixed a couple of the tracks on our ep um, so go check that out after this video so what i'm going to have to do is i'm going to have to root these verbs into a stem track that is just the verbs and not mixed in with all these tracks so if we have a quick listen, as you can see, these acoustic guitars are going through these delays and verbs, and they are an effect. But they're also going through these arrange this arrangement of verbs, which is more about placing them in the mix rather than affecting the actual sound. And as you can see, these are all rooted into these stems. And this last track was the printed track that I sent off to the mastering engineer. 
Okay. So what we're going to have to do is create a new stereo audio track. And we're going to rename this synth, oh, just get this out like synth pad stem print. And we're going to have to root the output of this instead of to the all music, we're going to have to root it to, if I can find it, synth pad stem. So now if we play the track, what's coming into this track is now being routed to that. And when we're ready, we can hit record and it will print that onto that track. Now, um, to save time, I've already created the other tracks. I'm going to move this over there. So now I need to reroute the strings to, if I can find it again, string stem pre-R. So I'll go and do that, and uh, I'll come back to you once we've done that. Okay, so we've got everything routed to these print except for the reverbs. Okay, so let's change this now to reverb stems. Okay, what you'll notice is that the outputs of these uh, printed stem tracks are just going straight to the master bus and not into the submix. But that doesn't matter because we're not going to be able to capture the processing that we do on the submix, which is usually just a bit of compression, and in this case we have done a bit of uh, EQ. You'll also notice that there is these NLS channels. So these are just an emulation of the music going through, in this case, uh, an SSL desk. So it's as simple as that. We now need to just, on the tracks, Start the track at the beginning and do a print. Does that when you hit the record button? Now, what we can do is we can go into the folder and we can go and find these tracks. And as you can see, they've been created as stereo tracks, but are saved as left and right. That is a way of doing it. And it may be that somebody that wants to remix wants the left and right stems. But personally, I think it would be better if they were interleaved. So what we can do, if we go back into the track, we can delete those. But all we're doing is deleting them from the session. We're not actually deleting the data, the tracks themselves. And what we need to go is into Setup, Session. And if we click this Interleave button, and we record them all again, then we should find that we'd have the sax stem PR and it will be an interleaved stereo file. So let us find them all again. That's just something to watch out for. Oh, well, deleted the vocal and we'll record all those again. Okay, so if we look in the folder, 
So they were the string sems printed left and right. We now have a string stem that is a pure interleaved stereo file. So we could just then select those interleaved stereo files, send those off, and they can then be imported into a new session of Pro Tools, Reaper, um, Cubase, whichever door you're using, and yeah, make any mix changes that uh, you feel you want to do. So hopefully you found that useful, but before you click off, uh, we need just about 150-ish more subscribers to hit that magic 1,000 mark. So if you wouldn't mind, please hit that like and subscribe button and help us reach that uh, milestones. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.